Hi friends! In this video, I will be showing you what my current everyday summer makeup look is. And this is the look I will be showing you today. This has been my go-to look for the past little while. I absolutely love it. I love how it looks like I put a little bit of effort into it. Meanwhile, there's not really a lot of effort put into this look. And this look does not involve any foundation. So if you want to see all that, keep watching. So the reason this makeup look involves zero foundation is because of this little guy. So this is the Paula's Choice Super Light Daily Wrinkle Defense Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Sunblock. This is not makeup, it's sunblock, and I have been absolutely obsessed with it. So it has a little bit of a tint to it, and it has a very lightweight, silky um, formulation to it. When, you, when I put it on my skin, it just feels really nice and lightweight, but also has a nice creaminess to it. It blends really beautifully into my skin, and and it doesn't really leave white cast. So uh, this retails for $35 on the Paula's Choice website and I'll just make sure to link it down below if you wanted to try it. So now let's get into the video. So I have all of my serums and uh, moisturizer on. Now it's time for some lock. So with this one, just I like to shake it before I apply it. And then I apply a very liberal amount to my face and neck. So I just do one finger, two fingers. So these two fingers worth of sunblock for my entire face and neck. And it just blends in so quickly and it feels really nice. It feels lightweight, but it has a nice creaminess to it at the same time. And I just love how this feels on my skin and how it leaves my skin feeling. And I have been trying a lot of sunblocks lately, uh, trying to find a new favorite. And I have to say, I've tried some pretty bad ones, um, but this one, once I, I tried it, it just felt so good and it looked so good. So this is definitely my favorite right now. I'm obsessed with it. So I'll just work it into my skin so this is what it looks like once the sunblock has soaked into my skin. There is a bit of dewiness still coming through in certain spots, but my skin is starting to look a bit more matte. Now, one thing that I love about the sunblock is even though it's mattifying, my skin still feels moisturized and hydrated and that hydration and moisture lasts throughout the day. So that makes me really happy. So I'm going to take the Kosas uh, concealer and I'm going to apply this under my eyes, just around my nose, top of my nose, and a little bit on the forehead. And then I like to take a damp beauty blender and just blend everything in. I'm going to go in with the NYX Professional Makeup Micro Brow Pencil, and this is in Ash Brown. So I like to brush my brows down first, and then get as close to the top of my brow as possible, and start building them. I like to draw the outline first and then build, fill them in. So next up, the eyes. Um, I have been using two colors this summer that I just love how they look together and I just really enjoy the look. So I've been doing that makeup look over and over again and um, those two colors are the first one, an off-white shade. So any off-white light shade. And then the second one is a deep pink. So like this one right here. And I found that these two really look nice together. The white I use as the base and then the pink I use in the crease and the other corner of my eye and I just love how it looks. So for the eyes, I will take a flat eyeshadow brush and I'll dip into this off-white matte shade. And I will apply this all over my eye, my eyelid and all the way up to my brow. So I'll just pat this on and just apply it really generously. Like I want to see my lid needs to look really, really 
covered well in that off-white shade. And I'll just bring it all the way under my brow. So now that the base is on, I'm going to take a fluffy brush. This is MAC 217. And I'm going to dip it into this pink shadow and this is matte as well and lightly I'll just start building it in my crease tap off the excess and just I like to apply it in like a V in my crease like in my outer crease and on my lid and I will just start blending it out and blending it inwards And I don't want to make this look too dark. Um, I like it as an everyday look, so I don't want to make it super pigmented and bright. And I just like to build it in the outer corner here and then just blend it out. And when I blend it outwards, I like to flick it out So this is both eyes done. So next is lashes. So I'm going to curl my lashes. And what I like to do is I like to take the eyelash curler, put it around my eye, but before I clamp my lashes down, I like to lift my eye a little bit to make sure that I get all of the lashes in there. And then I just pump the curler a little bit and just loosen it up a little bit and move further up on my lashes. And there we are. Can't really tell that I did anything, but something is done to the lashes. They're uh, smidge curled. Then always, 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 I go in with a primer and I really like the L'Oreal Voluminous Base. I love, love, love this primer. Honestly, I've tried like high-end ones and this one is just as good, so why not save the money? So I'm going to apply this on both of my eyelashes. So for mascara, I'm going to go in with the new MAC Stack Mascara. I really like this mascara. It's really good. It really lengthens the lashes and it does last really nicely throughout the day and doesn't make my lashes look clumpy. So I like to start at the base and just wiggle it through. I'm sure you have all seen people put on mascara. You might have done it yourselves as well, but I'm just telling you what I'm doing. So I like to put one coat of this mascara on and then plot twist, I go in with a second mascara, which separates the lashes more and fans them out so stay tuned for those of you still watching second mascara i like to use this one is the maypoline of the colossal curl bounce and it is a curved wand i don't know if you can see but yeah it's got a little bit of a curve and i like to use this to fan out and separate the lashes So lashes done, and this is what they look like. I love this combination, like honestly, this MAC mascara and this Maybelline mascara, just love, 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 love. The next is bronzer. I'm going to take this bronzer by Too Faced, and this one is Chocolate Soleil Medium Deep Matte Bronzer. And I'm going to take my bronzer brush, and this one is a multi-texture Sephora brush and I think this is number 54. It's an angled brush. So I'm going to take this and just put it on my forehead, bring it down, you know, the usual business. And now I take this Real Technique um, 
or real techniques pardonnez moi real techniques um this is a powder brush i think yeah but i use it as my blending brush and i'm just going to blend out all that bronzer So next is blush and I'm going in with the Sephora Matte Perfection Blush Duo and this one's 03 English Rose and this is of the two colors. These are the two colors I mean. I'm going to be using this one and I will take this brush and this is actually a Sephora um, Airbrush Precision Foundation brush but I find that it works really well for um, my blush. So I'm going to be very light-handed because this particular blush combo is very pigmented. So I'm just going to start up here and just pat it on. Yes, I know I look crazy, but now I'm going to take my little trusty blending brush and just blend the blush out. Well, for the lips, the combo that I've been loving is a nice pink lip liner, and this one is the Annabelle Big Show Gel Lip Liner in Meat Rosy. And then I put on some Vaseline on top of that and give my lips some nice shine and moisture. I'm not a big fan of overlining on myself. I just find that I look weird. So I just outline my lips. Then I will go in with the Vaseline. I'll just take a little bit out. just blend out that liner and I find that it leaves me with a really nice I don't know if you can see it on camera but it's like a bit of an ombre effect like lighter in the middle and then it gets a bit darker as you go towards the outside of my lips but this is the lip combo I've been loving this is the final look I have been absolutely obsessed with how this looks I think it's really fun for the summer and it's not too over the top where I can't wear it every day. I think the pink gives my eyes a nice pop of color and I just like how this looks and how it gives a nice little bit of brightness. And you can really do this with any brighter shadow, like you can do it with a green or with a blue or with a purple. Um, I just really like the way the pink looks with my eye color, so I think it's very summery. So that's why I've been loving this. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know down in the comments below if you tried this look or if you'd use another color instead of pink, um, what you thought about it. Let me know if there's any other videos you'd like me to make or reviews of different products that you'd like me to do. I would love to hear from you. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you next time.